Hi guys, this is Cheeky Cherry, and today we are going to visit my friend, who's a boy, and he's just the cutest ever. So we're gonna visit him right now, and I will see you guys there. Let's hope you guys like him. Hey, I'm back, and here is my friend, the cutest guy ever. Everyone say hello to Alex the horse. Handsome. No, you prefer to eat your own hay? Now you might say, how do you make friends with a horse? Well, Alex is just the sweetest horse ever. It's very nice to be friends with. He's a good boy. Alex is a good boy. Rocky. This is Rocky the horse. I love the right there. Alright, he's going back to eating his egg. Does he ever want to talk? Ah, star. Come here. Come here, I guess he doesn't want to talk either. And the last one, Sprint. Oh, Sprint is just started up. He looks very much like Alex, but do you see the difference? Over here, Alex has more white. Aww. Well, now I will take you on to the arena, which is where I ride my horses. Bye bye. or trying to swallow it or their tail showing no light. Symptoms of a horse that's enjoying will show its ears pointing forward. Look at this. How Sprint is pointing its ears now. Oh, it's excited? It's happy. It's happy, okay. So how does it behave when it is sad? But I don't know where the horse's ears point. Point there, okay? The side sound, all this is like of the like this. Inside the sound of the of the like the predator. And as when a horse is like angry, it can squish its tail forward on the rider. Tail? The tail. Now as it our horse is very calm. So it's are pointing forward. And it looks like she's uh, he's in rest mode. When the horse's ears are flat, when the horse's ears are flattened backwards, it means the horse is in its attacking mode. And when a horse is in its relaxing mode, its back legs will be like bended as if it's 
not worried about its surroundings or it will close its eyes or start chewing a lot. Shoes are made up of the same things as our nails and hair. The same chemical. What do you mean? Iron? Heels no. or? Uh? No, 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 no. no. Uh. The same, not the horseshoes, the hoof. Uh. The hoof is made up of the same material as our nails or hair. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay. Are, are they white in color too, just like our nails? No, they are usually grey. Okay. But still the material is same? Yep. Okay. What is this muzzle? Do you know anything about muzzle? Usually for some horses the muzzle is pink, which means they will get more sunstroke and all in summer. Yeah. Now the horses, it's very important to check the nose up or the nostrils of the horses. As um, if we have some nose problem, we can always breathe through our mouth. I have a cold, so I would know. But horses, they can't do this. They can't breathe from uh, their mouth. So it's very important to check your horse's nose because it has no other ability of breathing. So do they have the two nostrils just like human? Yes. Yeah. Nostrils. Uh, yeah. And the human's eyes are on the front of our head, but horses' eyes are on the sides. So they can see a lot more. Is it? They can never see forward. You have to point them forward. Do you know how often they blink their eyes or anything like that? Any other fun facts about horses? No. Uh, do you want to ask sir anything? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Sir, what will happen after the dressage stage? Sprint here is a thoroughbred. As sir said. What is a thoroughbred? Thoroughbreds are mostly used for racing purposes. Is user sign riding going or no? Riding and normal jumping. They are used for horse riding and jumping. Jumping also is useful. Horses have lots of molars. As they are herbivores, they need those lots of molars to grind their food properly. And did you know, out of the whole hair, horse teeth take up most of the space as they are very big molars and they need to grind the food properly. Ma'am? Ma'am? You shouldn't come from back. Really shouldn't come from back. Why? Why we can't come from back? The horse can kick. <laughs> So why do you love horses? I have no idea. I'm just an animal lover from when I was kid. And horses are no different. They're just sweet animals. What if they let you fall? I'm fine with that. Because they have their own reasons. They're living beings like us too. Either we're holding the rain wrong or we're uh, using the stirrups in the wrong way. <laughs> can also be forward and backward when they are relaxed. When the ears are pressed down against the neck over here, it means the horse is it means the horse is angry and in like the attack mode. And then when the horse is very sad, their ears will be droopy. It will be very low. And then when the horse uh, likes something, the ears will be forward and its attention is also there. The ears like make us find out where the horse is thinking, where its attention is. See, the uh, sprint's ears are pointing there. His no sprint. See, his look, uh, his ears are pointing there. He's bored. between Sprint and Alex and I notice Sprint has a small white diamond while Alex has a stripe while Alex has a whole stripe stretching down to his nostril now when Sprint comes look over there 
Now if you can see, Sprint has a small white diamond. And Sprint has this tiny, what I was explaining, this small pink spot on his nose, nostril. He's most likely to get a sunburn in summer. Well, you see, Alex, he doesn't have one of those. He has the horse's eyes. They have two lines on the front and the rest of the one lines They have the biggest eyes in all of the land mammals. Horse horse but all the horses are my best friends. As you can see, Alex is jumping. Red T board. As you can see, Alex's attention is way over there. So he's also looking over there if you look closely. Again with Alex and one senior horse rider whose name is Hasini. Hi. So I hear you know a lot about horses and riding. Yeah. So what's the difference? Warm-blooded and cold-blooded and hot-blooded uh, horses. Cold-blooded horses are used for transportation purposes. Um, they're like friendly giants, basically. You can use them for transportation, and they can live actually in very cold places. And warm-bloods are basic, like riding horses. You can jumping and riding. You can use them for jumping and riding. And hot-blooded horses. This is actually a hot-blooded horse. They're for races, mainly for races. And you can use them for riding and jumping. Too. It depends on the training. So I hear from Sir that Alex is a thoroughbred. Yeah, it's a thoroughbred. So do you know any other types of horses? Uh, well, the types of horses are cold-blooded and hot-blooded and warm-blooded. But they are actually breeds of horses. Yeah, they breed. Yeah, horses are bay. I mean, the colors of horses are bay, chestnut, dark bay, and gray. Yeah, the positions of the ears, how to show the symptoms and behaviors of horses. When the horse feels like it wants to kick another horse or is irritated, it puts the ears back like this. But when it's looking around its surroundings, it faces it to the direction that it is viewing. So like if it's looking that way, it's looking that way. But if it's front, it's listening to something. So it's aware of its surroundings. So since uh, what time did you start horse riding? It's been two years. How old are you? Me, I'm 13. So what, uh, did you ride all the horses? Yeah, I rode all the horses, yeah. And uh, till what stage are you now? Um, I'm actually beginning jumping right now. Oh. Yeah, how did you start horse riding? Actually, there's a little bit of horse riding background in my family. And uh, I'm interested in watching horse movies and stuff like that. So. I just am an animal lover since I was a kid. I love horses. And I just started watching this series called Free Range. Oh, same. I watched that so many times, actually. Me too. And, and so I just love the horses and I just want to try and learn riding. Good training. Do you have any tips? Like, uh, never get scared on a horse because you can feel it. Never get scared. Because if you get scared, it'll make you more scared, actually. Good training. You might get feared when you get start actually getting on a horse. You might get the fear that you're going to fall or something, but just remove that out of your mind. You never got it? No, because I love animals and Alex here is a very gentle horse. Okay. Actually, for me, when I first fell, I was scared for a month that I would fall again. Even though I didn't hurt when I fell, it was just that fear that I would fall again. I never, uh, when did you fall like in this um, When I first learned trot, I was actually very confident. I fell on sprint actually. Uh, I fell, it gave me a buck and I fell. Really, not bad actually. Well, actually bad. I touched the top of that thing and it fell down. <laughs> and uh, I hurt my back actually. So for that, you just need to do stretches and stuff like that. But I actually got so scared to get back on a horse again. It took me one month to get on a horse again. Yesterday, uh, uh, Sprint just took off with me. Oh. When I was walking, he just started doing the canter or something. 
I didn't do anything. My sir said do the hall, so I did. Well, it's just about experience actually. So you know the horse and then it knows you, so it won't benefit. The confidence that you have on your horse. Right, say left turn. Come on, like that. Come on. Say, come on, turn. Is about to ride Alex now. He looks very bored to do this. Horses do this because they're the master. What do they, they do? Make themselves higher. <laughs> so, in conclusion, I just hope you guys like my riding. And here's a tip from Cheeky Cherry Channels, owned by Cheeky Cherry. Horse riding is very dangerous if you don't learn how to respect the horse. I, my mom will edit the video and you can see how Sprint is a very active horse. I'm not used to him so I admit when he took off with me, you guys won't see that part, he took off with me and he galloped, I was completely scared. So I don't know, I think I did something wrong which made him go on a gallop. So yeah, horse riding is dangerous if you don't respect the horse and you also need to take some few safety precautions like a horse riding helmet. Horse riding helmet should be very specific. It doesn't need to be in the color. I just chose red because kitty cherry. So the head part should be like this so you can see very properly where you're going. Now you also have to take some horse riding boots. They're very dusty because of my walk in the sand 
I don't have the exact ones. I will try and get them, but these are what I have now. And last and finally, I got all my information that I told about Spin Alex and all from this book. This book filled with its pages of glory made me like so interested in horses. Made me so much I had so much interest in horses because of this very book. This is also filled with donkeys and all horse carriages. This is of the olden days. There's plenty of information here about horses, like a few types of horses over here, like the breeds. And so yeah, I got my inspiration and information from this very horse riding encyclopedia. And I hope you guys like my horse riding. Thank you very much. And this is Tiki Cherry signing off. Stay safe. Bye.